Extreme. Welcome to FedEx Fight, m o i m a n Pan Extreme. สวัสดีครับขอต้อนรับทุกท่านเข้าสู่รายการ FedEx Fight, m o i m a n Pan Extreme. พบกันทุกวันเสาร์ตั้งแต่10โมงเช้าถึงเที่ยงวันทางช่อง7 AG ครับท่านผู้ชมครับวันนี้เรามีทั้งหมด7คู่ที่จะขึ้นมาชกบนเวทีนี้ครับทั้งหมดเป็นมวย3ยกโดยที่มีนักกีฬามาจากประเทศญี่ปุ่นอิหร่านอังกฤษฝรั่งเศสจีนและแน่นอนครับจากประเทศไทยอีกด้วยครับและที่พิเศษในวันนี้ครับจะเป็นรอบตัดเชือกของ f a t e x Fight Thai w a t s u Champions Tournament ของมวยไทยชัยรุ่นแบนจ์มวยหรือ 53.5 กิโลกรัมติดตามได้ในคู่ที่4และ5ครับ Ladies and gentlemen we have a total of seven bouts lined up for you all exciting three rounds of Muay Thai with fighters from Japan Iran England France China and of course Thailand. Also today is the semi-finals for the Fairtex Fight Thai Watsu Champions Tournament in the men's bantam weight division, which will be bouts four and five. For those of you who'd like to listen to commentary in English, you can do so by changing the language on your remote on Channel 7 HD. เราจะพักกันสักครู่กลับมากับคู่เปิดเวทีครับจะเป็นคู่มวยหญิงนะครับพิกัดน้ำหนัก47กิโลกรัมนักมวยจากประเทศไทยและนักมวยจากประเทศญี่ปุ่นครับ We are going to take a quick break and we will be back with our opening bout Muay Thai 47 kilograms a fighter from Thailand takes on a fighter from Japan Don't go anywhere Our opening bout will be female Muay Thai, 47 kilograms. Let's bring out the fighter in the black corner, Fujiwara Noah. Fair text fight for another exciting edition here at Lumpini Stadium, the Mecca Muay Thai, the Madison Square Garden of the East, and entering the ring from Japan, Fujiwara Noah. The 19-year-old stands at 157 centimeters, 15 bouts to her record, 12 wins, two losses, one draw. Her last two fights, a TKO win over Pet Yogging, Pet Nogi. That was back in February, and then a win over Nuafa or Santram over in Osaka. So what we're seeing here at Fairtex Fight is more international fighters. We've seen a handful of Japanese athletes, especially Japanese women. I would say especially at these lighter weights of around 47 to 51 kilos. We turn it over to Mark Abbott. And in the red corner, let's bring out p e c h o m p u r e n g p i c h i t c h a i Muay Thai. Coming into the red corner is p e c h o m p u r e n g p i c h i t c h a i Muay Thai. At the age of 26, p e c h o m p u r stands at 155 centimeters with a fight record of 60 fights. 36 wins, 20 losses, and four draws. Hailing from Suratani province in Thailand. Her last three fights, she had a win over Sylvie Chemical X Gym. And a win over Yodjut Fit Yodjut Muay Thai. And a TKO win over Pet Manau. Sod Bin La Gym. So I'm looking forward to seeing a Petropu fight here against Fujiwara. We saw Fujiwara fight here not long ago. Very explosive fighter. So this will be a banger of a matchup here this morning for our first bout of the morning. And we'll see how things progress. Of course, the show brought to you by Terra Entertainment and Channel 7 HD. 
ทางผู้ชมครับคู่แรกในวันนี้จะชกกันภายใต้กติกามวยไทยพิกัดน้ำหนัก47กิโลกรัม3ยกยกละ3นาที The opening bout is in Muay Thai at 47 kilograms scheduled for three three minute rounds นักมวยในมุมดำ fighting in the black corner น้ำหนัก47กิโลกรัมสูง157 weighing in at 47 kilograms standing 157 centimeters tall มาจากประเทศญี่ปุ่น from Japan this is Fujiwara Noa แล้วคู่ต่อสู้ของเขาในมุมแดง and her opponent fighting in the red corner น้ำหนัก47กิโลกรัมสูง155 weighing in at 47 กิโลกรัม standing 155 centimeters tall มาจากประเทศไทย From Thailand, this is p e t c h o m p u r u n g b i c h i t Chai Muay Thai. And your referee, p a n t o y i n g Nisha p o n p l u m t h a n o n Here is a tale of the tape: p e t c h o m p u r u n g b i c h i t Chai Muay Thai versus s u j i r a Nora. So always good to see young talent entering the ring. p e d c h a m p u with 60 bouts. Talk. So four times the experience of her Japanese opponent. But we've seen it a few times. The experience gap between guys and foreign opponents is. Lessening, and a l o n g t i m e s the foreigners are making more of their experience. We see a very traditional stance and guard here from Pet c h a m p u in the red. u j i w a r a just starting off early, trying to get a read on her opponent. Throwing out too much here in the first round. Oh, beautiful leg kick. Great counter kicking from Pet c h a m p u She's basically waiting for Fujiwara and then blasting out these kicks. Nice leg kick there from the Japanese athlete. She's, that, she's becoming a little bit readable with that skip in, though. As you can see, p e t r o p o u l just capitalizing on it. Anytime she moves in, she throws out that right kick. Getting a very good read on that skip in from Fujiwara. Beautiful left body kick and great right kick into the cross there from p e t r o p o u l Showing off her experience and showing how she's utilized it so far. Fujiwara has got to be careful. She doesn't keep telegraphing that skip in. Nice little leg kick there. Very fast muscle, rich fiber there from Fujiwara. Again, she p e t a m p u is chopping at that leg of Fujiwara's. I think it's really getting slow the Japanese athlete down as we move on. She's trying to puncture that tire, as you like to say. Beautiful left kick there. She times it so well, not even switching it, just throwing it up to score. Good defense there by p e t r o m p u l on the back foot. I think Fujiwara is really going to need to take the fight to p e t r o m p u l Not come in with the same speed all the time. Good double up on the kicks. Stalking it down. Ooh, nice short elbow. Beautiful short elbow there from the Thai athlete. So I think that p e t c h a m p u is backing up, but so far for me, she's controlling the pace and damage of the fight. What do you think, Joe? I would agree with that. The, the strategy of drawing Fujiwara in for her own style of attacks is a beautiful one. It's a very classic back foot strategy there from p e t c h a m p u and I think. Fujiwara is really just playing into Petrol Pool's game at the time. Yeah, I would totally agree with you. 
We'll see how the fight progresses, but I would give that first round to Pet Champu. Fujiwara was very active, but I felt the more damaging shots came in from the Thai athlete. I would agree with that. I think Fujiwara needs to go a bit higher as well, not just go for the low kicks all the time. Like to see her mix up the levels a little bit more. What do you think Fujiwara's corner will be telling her, Matt? I think it might be a good idea to try and utilize the hands a bit more to set up the kicks and also be a little bit faster about blocking, especially that lead leg kick. I do feel like Pet Shampoo is doing a good job disguising it, though. Oh. Round two. So here we are for round two of our first bout this morning. Japan taking on Thailand. Fujiwara from Japan taking on Pet Shampoo from Thailand. Straight out of the gates in the second round. Fujiwara really picking up the pace here. Maybe listening to Matt. Yeah. Yeah, some of these hands are definitely landing and I think upsetting Pet Shampoo a little bit. Now the tie starting to angle off. It's definitely started to break some of her rhythm up and the timing. And I think this is what I meant by Fujiwara has to take the fight to Pet Shampoo now. She's doing that very effectively. Although Pet Shampoo answers back with her own. Yeah, she's just feeding back and countering the hands of Fujiwara landing well and landing clean. Combinations and combinations, more combinations than a bank safe this morning. Beautiful left kick there from Fujiwara from Japan. Yeah, and Pet Shampoo's counters aren't looking as clean and successful now. Beautiful left body kick there from the Japanese athlete. I think we're starting to see Pet Shampoo fade a bit here. And again, trapped up against the ropes. Blasting out two kicks, Fujiwara. She circles out, back into center ring. Fujiwara doing a good job of controlling the action now. Beautiful left kick there, up onto the arms. Slapping onto the guard of Petrol Pool. Look at those combinations, Matt. Very slick, very tidy. Going for the leg kick again. Catches the leg, returns with a left. Just one minute left here. Oh, big teeth to the face. Yeah, really showing some dominance here, Fukurawa. There's Ooh. that left kick. Blasting out like Bull Cal Bantamek here. Yeah, and I think Pet Shampoo is getting into some deep waters, getting into some deep trouble. Good right hand from her. This is definitely one of those cases where Fujiwara took the first round to warm up and she's come out firing. Yeah. I think there's a strong possibility for a KO. I think your crystal ball could be very clear this morning, Matt. Not sure of this round, but if Fujiwara continues like this into the third round, she could have this stopped a little early. And it does look like that look on Petrumpu's face. She looks a lot less confident now. Big right tip to end the round from Fujiwara. That is the end of the second round, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll just go and have a look at some of the action replays from that second round. Fireworks in that second round. Fujiwara really coming out of the gate. She took the first round to warm up, but coming back into her own in that second. So the big combinations really starting to fade. Pechompu there. Yeah, it, I think she might have heard my advice, Joe, to start letting the hands go. And sound advice that is, because it definitely worked for her in that second round. Just dialing up the intensity as well.
What do you think Fujiwara's corner will be telling her now? To just try and finish off the job, to be honest. To keep the pace, keep blasting out that left kick. It's working very well for her. I think that if I was head Poo here, I would probably try and move into the clinch, open up with elbows, change up the game plan. Kick, Fujiwara. Fujiwara is not here to muck around this morning. Look at that left kick. Just explodes into the left hook as well. Yeah, an absolute cannon of a kick there from Fujiwara. Pet Champu looking like she's comfortable. Oh! Sends a flying it. across the ring. Uh, maybe she wanted to send her to Japan. He's definitely getting a taste of Japan here. Big left kick again, doubling up. Oh, right up onto the head. Fujiwara is not here to muck around this morning, ladies and gentlemen. She's looking to make a statement. Catches the kick, returns. And a smile on the face of the Japanese athlete. Definitely enjoying herself. Gets the vice grip lock, biding her time a little bit. Oh, and I think Petrum Bull's just having a hard time to fire off. Oh, the push kick to the face again. A very dominant third round so far from the Japanese athlete. Can Petra Poo get her second win? Big face tape, then tapes it to the body. She's a slick operator, this Fujiwara. Very, very entertaining fight here this morning at Fairtex fight. Great combinations here from the Japanese athlete. Really unselling pet shampoo. I do think that pet shampoo is going to see the end of the round, but he's definitely going to see a lot of bruising tomorrow as well. Slapping up onto the arms there, trying to break the guard of pet shampoo. Maybe come over the top. Pechampu trying to walk her forward into the corner. Yeah, and you see now, Fujiwara looks very, very confident. And it's basically trying to control the fight. Beautiful step up knee there. Oh. You know that's a favorite of mine, Matt. Big hands to follow up with the double left kick. Combinations upon combinations here. More combinations than a KFC secret recipe. Just 10 seconds left. And I don't think Pet Shampoo can really do anything to change the game here. And a nice show of respect between the two athletes. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the third and final round for our first bout of this morning. Chompu taking on Fujiwara from Japan. So we'll have a look at some of the action replays. There's that big team that sent Petrumpu flying across the ring. Some of the ferocious hand combinations by our Japanese athlete this morning. Steps through, right hand follows up with the left kick, doubles it up, slaps it up onto the arms. I think Petrumpu is going to have very sore forearms tomorrow. You want to have to go and have an ice bath after this, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 29-28. For the winner, in the black corner, Fujiwara Noah.
Congratulations to Fujiwara Noah picking up the decision victory here at Fantex Fight Muay Man Pan Extreme. เราจะพักกันสักครู่กลับมากับคู่ต่อไปครับมวยไทยนักมวยจากประเทศอิหร่านปะทะนักมวยไทยนะครับพี่กัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัม Join us after break with more Muay Thai action at 65 k i l o g r a m as a fighter from Iran takes on a fighter from Thailand. Welcome back to FedEx Fight, Moi Man Pan Extreme here from the iconic Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. ผ่านไปแล้วครับคู่แรกเมื่อสักครู่นี้ครับฟูจิวาระโนะชนะคะแนนครับ We now move on to the second bout of the day. Let's bring out the fighter in the black corner, Amir Hussein Kaviani. So here we go with our second battle of the day. Walking into the ring from Iran, Amir Hosan Kaviani, the 23-year-old, stands at 168 centimeters, 25 bouts to his record, 18 wins, seven losses. So coming to us from Iran, and as we say almost every week, we're seeing a lot more Iranian athletes here. At Veritex fight, I think we call so many Iranians onto the stage. It's hard to keep track of who's who, but we definitely know where they're from and what they bring to the ring. High volume, heavy hands, and huge athleticism. I'm looking forward to this one, Matt. And in the red corner, let's bring out Gulab Dam Sir Rong Chai. Coming into the red corner is Gulab Dam Sir Rong Chai from Thailand, hailing from Nakhon Ratchasima Province. At age 31, Gulab Dam stands at 170 centimeters with a fight record of 72 fights, 66 wins, five losses, and one draw. So his last three fights, he had a TKO win over Kla Win and a win over Kim Inje and a TKO win over Yasin Harurari. We saw Kim Inje fight last week at Paradex fight. He won by KO in the first round. Big body shot, the Korean athlete, a bit of a sensation. I believe uh, the fight with Kim and Jay was for a global house tournament win. So here we are, Kulab Dam just getting the last minute preparations underway by our professional cupman. As he steps over the ropes for this three round Muay Thai battle here at Fairtex Fight every Saturday morning. การผู้ชมครับคู่นี้จะชกกันภายใต้กติกามวยไทยพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัม3ยกยกละ3นาที This is a Muay Thai bout at 65 kilograms scheduled for three three minute rounds นักมวยในมุมดำ fighting in the black corner น้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมสูง168 weighing in at 65 kilograms standing 168 centimeters tall from Iran, this is Amir Hussein Kaviani. Uh, and his opponent 
Fighting in the Red Corner น้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมสูง170 Weighing in at 65 kilograms, standing 170 centimeters tall. มาจากประเทศไทย From Thailand, this is k u l a b d a m s o r a n c h a i And your referee, j a s i p t o p i c h e t k a h a k a s i t Here is a tale of the table. k u l a b d a m s o r r u n g c h a i versus Amir h o s e n k e v a n i So, Thailand versus Iran. Ah, three rounds. Oh, with the team, Lom, don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. So the referee there just explaining the last minute instructions. Oh, s a m y o l three rounds. Stop. Round one. Big teeth to start off the fight from Amir Hussain. k u l a b d a m named after the Black Rose. k u l a b is rose and Dam means black. Oh, beautiful body shot there from the Iranian athlete. k u l a b d a m plowing into him. One of the notable thing about a lot of the Iranian fighters is they start off very heavy and explosive in the first round. They try and make a statement really early, going for that body shot again, stabbing knee to follow up, and it looks like there is a pretty nasty cut on this. It looks like it's the side of Mir Hosin's head. Like the Slayer's song, Rain in Blood. A fair amount of blood on the face of Kulip Dam as well. It shouldn't be a major issue in terms of preventing or stopping the fight. Big head kick there from Amir Hussain. Now locked into side control in the clinch, fighting for position. As our referee brings him back to continue the action. You see k u l a b d a m utilizing his gloves onto that wounded area. It looks like the cut is on the side of the head. So k u l a b d a m sort of wiped his glove on it. It looks like the referee there stopping the fight just to clean it off. I think the cleaners yeah. are going to. It might actually be a pretty long cut. It's his hairline. Oh, and that's it. They call the fight on it. It's a, I think the cut must have been too long. You know, we can't see it up close, but the the cut must have been too long, and it's obviously bleeding a lot. So the athlete safety is always paramount. k u l a b d a m getting the win here, and it was from this rush early on in the first round. I believe he k u l a b d a m caught the kick. Yup, right here, and this is where it happened. Yeah, it was from that downward elbow as Amir h o s e n fell onto the ropes. That chopping elbow. And then the blood started to rain down. Chop, and that was enough to really stop it. Plus, he glove into that cut. Ladies and gentlemen, in round number one, due to a doctor stoppage, we have a winner by technical knockout in the red corner. g u l a b d a m s o r a n c h a i Congratulations to g u l a b d a m there picking up that round one win here at Fairtex Fight. เราจะพักกันสักครู่กลับมาคู่ต่อไปครับเป็นคู่มวยหญิงนักชกจากประเทศอังกฤษและนักมวยจากประเทศไทยครับพี่กัดน้ำหนัก49กิโลกรัม Join us after break with some female Muay Thai. A fighter from England takes on a fighter from Thailand at 49 kilograms. Don't go anywhere. Ladies 
and gentlemen, welcome back to Fatex Fight Boy Man Pan Extreme. ผ่านไปแล้วครับ2คู่คู่แรกพรบยกคู่ที่2ชนะ TKO ในยกที่1 Let's move on to the third bout of the day in the black corner. Let's bring out Eleanor Rose Fellows. So here we go with the third bout of the day. Eleanor Rose from the UK. The 24-year-old training out of the famous Keep on Team Jim. Ten bouts to her record, eight wins, one loss, one draw. Her last two fights here, a point win over Yelly Poor Pet K. Rune, and a point win over Pet Kong Kit Kong Cry. So Eleanor on a bit of a roll. She also had a recent fight down in Phuket. So definitely one of the lighter weight athletes at 49 kilos, but very, very fit and comes on very, very strong as well. And I'll tell you what, when you talk to Eleanor outside of the ring, she's so pleasant and friendly, but as soon as she gets in there, She's a violent, beautiful violence. So let's see what she brings this morning. And in the red corner, let's bring out Lutan Si Sawat Yim. Coming into the red corner is Lutan Si Sawat Yim. Representing Thailand, hailing from Asaraburi province in Thailand. At age 15, she stands at 160 centimeters with a fight record of 42 fights, 33 wins, 9 losses. Uh, last couple of wins, she had a win over Titarat Family Muay Thai and a win over Petsian Saw Kam Singh. So looking forward to this one. A lot of experience. For such a young athlete, only 15 years of age, with a whopping 42 fights against Eleanor's 10 fight record. So, fairly big gap there in the record, in the amount of experience, which I say rather. But not fairly uncommon here in Thailand. Often the Thai athletes fighting out in the provinces quite early. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here this morning. Time to talk about the Thai Muay Thai 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 This is a Muay Thai bout at 49 kilograms, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Namoy Nay Mum Dam fighting in the black corner. Nam Nak Si Sip Kao Kilogram Sung Roy Hok Sip Song. Weighing in at 49 kilograms, standing 162 centimeters tall. Maja Prahet Ankrit. From England, this is Eleanor Rose Fellows. Lakuto Su Kong Hao Nay Mum Dang and her opponent. Fighting in the red corner, Namnak C. Sipkao, Kilogram Sung, Roy Hook Sip. Weighing in at 49 kilograms, standing 160 centimeters tall. Maja Prahetai. From Thailand, this is Luk Tan C. Suat Yim. And your referee, watch out upon Prachum Thai. Here we go with. The tail of the table, Lutan Sitsawa Jim versus Eleanor Rose. So, obviously, as we mentioned before, Lutan having the experience, but we saw in the previous the opening bout that the more experienced athlete does not always win. So, experience is definitely a factor. For instance, I, I feel like we saw it against with Kulab Dam versus Amir Hosen when Kulab Dam just cut into the forehead, the side of the head, and then dropped the cut. We'll 
We'll see how this works out. Eleanor looking strong in the clinch. Good arm positioning from her. Oh, good one too there from Bhutan. Eleanor looking to steamroll her way into the clinch where she's more comfortable. Don't typically tend to see Eleanor play on the outside, so I'm expecting to see a lot of clinch work from the young Brit today. Pivot, English Bulldog, Eleanor. Really comes forward and wants to grab on, chomp on the bit. Ooh, good one too again from Lutak, following it up with the elbow. Good palm over the shoulder there from Eleanor. Lutak keeping the guard nice and tight there, following up with a kick from that last exchange. Just trying to skip in with an elbow, but missing the mark there from Lutak. The time looking like she's starting to fade a little bit. Oh no, Ooh, comes beautiful. back. Beautiful one twos from Lutan. And a good solid knee up the middle. Again, there's that stall in the clinch. Smart work from Lutan. And that's where the experience shows through some of those stalling techniques from the Thai athlete. Yeah, and then also drifting over to the ropes. Into the clinch here. Eleanor looking to put Lutan in the pocket. Sudding her with big elbows there. Trying to shoot out that right hand. It's been finding a home. Oh, there it is again. And Eleanor with her stall there, just wrapping her leg around Lutan. Very effective way to get the referee to stop the clinch a little faster if you're not in a good position. Yeah, 10 seconds to go. Putting the palm over again. And that is the end of our first round for our third bout of the morning. So what did you take away from that round, Matt? Yeah, good opening round. I think you know, this is going to be one about who has the bigger gas tank. I think both athletes had their moments. One, two from Luke Tan. Eleanor Rose came in strong and aggressive, though. We've seen her fitness play a massive role in her previous fights. That's right, Matt. She's very, very well conditioned, the young Eleanor. And I do agree with you. I think it will be a case of who's got the better conditioning and who's got the bigger gas tank. So I'm expecting next round, all gas, no brakes from the blue corner and red corner. Perhaps maybe playing it on the back foot Teep, teep, kick. Though I have been known to be wrong before, I am only human. And of course, the Kip on Team Jim, very, very renowned. We see one of the gym owners, Rob Cox, in Eleanor's corner. Rob, a legend in the sport, one of the original foreign correspondents. For Muay Thai out here, a former fighter himself. Had a handful of bouts up in Isan and over in his home country of the UK. Would it be fair to say that he kind of opened the road for people like us to be doing what we're doing now? He, he paved the way for sure. So Eleanor looking like she's starting to really utilize her fitness. Nice knee from Rose. And there we have the stall. Lutan just locking on, not allowing Eleanor to get any room there in the clinch. But the Brit still making space and finding decent homes for these knees. She does a good job of pushing that shoulder over. 
There we go. Lock onto the head. Drag it down. Trying to dig the head under the chin there. Yeah. It's very annoying to have that head driving into your chin. Good kick there from Luktan. Nice short kick. Fighting for position, side control on the clinch. Yeah, great positioning there from Eleanor. Luktan just locking on and trying to stall here. Trying to run down the clock a little bit. Bit of a veteran move. Fighting for position again. It's a very gritty fight at this point. Eleanor's non-stop with the grit and determination. Yeah, Luton definitely slowed down here. Some stiff punches from the Thai athlete. She's looking a bit more open mouth here, Matt. That is a look time. Ooh, great knees there from Eleanor. Right into the open side. And well, I thought that first round was pretty even. I think this round, Eleanor is clearly seizing control. What do you think, Joe? She's walking like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. Just straight into it. And we see Fawn, the referee, taking a close look at Luton. Big, heavy punches there from Eleanor. Stabbing knees to follow up, pushing that hand over. Last few seconds. Stiff jab to end the round there from Luton. Fairly action-packed round in that second round, Matt. So we'll go and have a look at some of the replays. So here's some of the replays, and we see Eleanor unloading. Nice knee to the back there from the UK athlete. She does a good job of putting that hand over and just pushing the head down. Big swinging knees there again. Stiff jab to break up the rhythm. Luktan had a moment as well. Some of those short kicks on the end of the clinch exchanges. So we'll see what happens here in this third and final round of our third bout this morning. And of course, myself, Joe Comerford, sitting here with the wonderful Matt Lucas, the mouth of Muay Thai here in Thailand. And Eleanor running out the gates here. Like Usain Bolt straight out of the gates in the Olympics. Running towards Luktan. A little bit wary of Luktan's kicks though. Double palm pushover, digging the head under. There in that little clinch exchange. Really, all gas, no brakes. Really pushing forward to put the pressure on Luktan here. Good. Fighting for position as our referee breaks them apart. This is very typical form for Eleanor. And Luktan picking up that left kick, but it's not really deterring Eleanor. Good. Is continuing to outmuscle Luktan. She's got a very uh, similar style to Yolanda Schmidt, a former world champion from Australia, who just pushed forward and would smother her opponents inside the clinch. Yeah, you see Luktan looking up at the clock. 
He is not having a good time here. Flicking up that left kick again. Pops the hand over to smother her opponent again. Tan looking very open mouth. Stabbing knee. Puts the palm over. Pushes forward. Double jab. Stabbing knee again. Tries to thudder with the elbow. Yeah, Luke Tan looking a little ragged here. I think she will be able to make it to the end of the round. And you see she's a bit slow to release in the clinch as well. He caught the tape. Follow up with the hand combinations. Pushing the palm over again. It's a bit hard to get the elbow from that position. She'll need to drag the arm down and follow over the top. Stabbing oh, knee. Yeah, beautiful knee up the middle. Look time looking up at the clock again. Yeah, it's 30 seconds left. I think Lucan has enough here to finish it, but it's oh beautiful one too. Oh, and caught her on the chin. Trying to follow up with the hands. Back into the clinch. Side control. Dying seconds of this round. That is the end of the fight, ladies and gentlemen, for those who are watching at home. <laughs> and Luke Tan looks a bit relieved to have the fight ended. Nice show of respect from them. But I think it's going to be a clear win for Eleanor. Share the whole Kiev Pontiff team over in Western Bangkok will be celebrating. Over there in Salaya. So the last bit of action from Eleanor. Some of those flicking left kicks from Bhutan. The stabbing ferocious knees of Eleanor Rose. So we'll throw it over to Ladies Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 30 27. Sam Tibisip Jet. Sam Tibisip Jet. Let Sam Tibisip Jet. For the winner, in the black corner, Elena Rose Fellows. Congratulations to Elena picking up. That decision victory. ท่านผู้ชมครับเราจะพักกันสักครู่กลับมาครับรู้ต่อไปครับซึ่งจะเป็นรอบตัดชื่อของเฟตเอ็กซ์ไฟท์ไทยวัดสูตรแชมเปี
Lock. Kick. Wayman Pan Extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Fetex Fight. Moi Man Pan Extreme here from the legendary Lumbini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. Kuo Tao Pai Kap will be the first in Moi Rob. Rob Rob Tat Chuk. Fetex Fight Thai Watsu Champions Tournament. Run Phantom Way. In the black corner, let's bring out Taha Asgari. So here we are with the fourth bout of the day. Another athlete from Iran, Taha Asgari, the 18-year-old, standing 167 centimeters, 15 bouts to his record, 10 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. His last bout here, a point win over Pet Dada Kia Training out of Jaw Apichat Gym, the gym owned by Crew Diesel. The famed trainer from FA Group, the old trainer of uh, Pet Bunchu. If you don't know who that is, look him up. Very famous clinch fighter. I think maybe even the most decorated fighter of all time, I think. Yeah, I believe so. Pet Bunchu won a heap of straps here at Lupini and other places in the mid, late 90s. Sort of the not really the golden era, the sort of post-golden era period of the sport. We turn it over to Mark Abbott. And in the red corner, let's bring out Kun Kai Sabu Samun Prai Gan Plu. Coming into the red corner is Kung Krai, Sabu Samun Krai Kan Plu. At age 16, Kung Krai stands at 168 centimeters with a fight record of 61 fights, 52 wins, eight losses and one draw. Coming from Cha Chan Sao province, just outside of Bangkok, his last three fights, he had a TKO win over Lernrit Punyacha Yotin. A loss against Pom Underman. And a win over Petnaya Parkview Konkan. So looking forward to this one. Thailand taking on Iran. Of course, we our second bout of the morning. We saw Thailand taking on Iran, pull up down from Thailand, taking away the win with that ferocious cutting elbow. So will this be a revenge or repeat for the Battle of the Nations here at Fairtex fight? Only time will tell. This is a Muay Thai bout at 53.5 kilograms, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Namuay Naimum Dam fighting in the black corner. Namnak 53.5 kilograms, sung 167. Weighing in at 53.5 kilograms, standing 167 centimeters tall. Maja Prahet Iran. From Iran, this is Taha Asgari. And his opponent fighting in the red corner. Namnak Hasip San, Jutha Kilogram Sung, Roy Hoksip Fire. Weighing in at 53.5 kilograms, standing 168 centimeters tall. Maja Prahet Hai. From Thailand, this is. Kun Kai Samu Samun Prai Kan Plu! And your referee, Jasipo Anukun Tam Siram. Here we go with the Tell the Tit Kun Kai Samu Samun Prai Kan Plu versus Taha Asgarim. 
Another Thailand versus Iran matchup. So uh, taping the leg there. Just measuring the distance. Uh, looks like he has a little bit of a height advantage over his opponent. Couldn't cry. Let's see if he utilizes that clinching knee style that's so iconic with Crew Diesel. Whoop. Very lucky to train with him for two years. He's former trainer of the year. I think he got in the early 2000s. He's a very, very, very good trainer. Very, very passionate. Big changes already in the second round. Going for that front inside leg kick from Taha. Gonna miss there from Cook right. Big a follow up there, very explosive from Taha. Right kick to right punch, flicks it up, catches the tip. Oh, big head. Oh, sat him down. It looks like it was very fast, but it looked like a left hook. Taha wants to get back into it. It's a beautiful counter left hook there from Cook Nice timing. You see, Taha's eyes very focused here. But he didn't see that left hook coming at all. To be honest, I didn't either. There's that big hook again from Kunkrai. Looks like there's a little cut on the upper brow of Kunkrai too. And it should start pouring blood any moment. Oh. Yeah. Looks like it's on the corner of the eye. So far, the blood is in flowing in a dangerous direction. But as we saw with the second bout of the day, like what matters is the uh, length of the cut, the position, sometimes how much blood is flowing. Very explosive this fight, especially at the lighter weight divisions. It's always exciting to see the lighter weights go for it. Fighting their time, seeing what each other have got. Big, big hands there from Taha, catching the leg again. Good timing from Kukrai. Nice leg kick there from the Thai athlete. Good redirection there from Kukrai. He's very cerebral, this young man. That, that's the end of round one. What'd you take away from that fight, Matt? That, that, that round, sorry, not fight. Very uh, explosive, I thought. Yeah, it was a great, great first round. You know, we'll see it in the replays for sure. That left hook just flooring Taha. Bang, Bang, right on the button. Beautiful shot there from the Thai athlete. Definitely stunned him and made him respect the power that Kunkrai is bringing into this fight. He's a slick operator, that Kunkrai. All those redirections. Beautiful work by both gentlemen. I'm very excited for this next round. There's DJ Sanook always bringing the good vibes to a Fairtex fight and the tunes. So here we are coming into round two. Thailand taking on Iran. Kung Krai from Thailand and Taha from Iran. <laughs> Oh, 
Nice knee there from Taha. It looks like Kukra is just relying on the back movement to counter. A decent amount of Vaseline on that eyelid of Kukra. If Taha is smart, he'll... Yep, it looks like he... It's already spread thin. Like, when the Vaseline is on the cut, you want to do everything you can as an opponent to get that Vaseline to disappear. The way the blood starts going. Nice yeah. lock up there from Kumkrai. Look at the hip dexterity on that young man. Like Spider-Man. Beautiful left kick as well. Good counter. With the blood pouring down his outer brow. Good catch for catch and kick for kick at this point. Oh! Rattled, I think. Good lock on here. Turn, knee, turn, knee. Beautiful fundamentals, too. Really liking both these gentlemen's style here this morning. Yeah, the crowd really getting behind this fight. Stylistically making for a very nice yeah. fight, too. And I like how Kukrai is just taking advantage in these little moments of getting the better position in the clinch. Ooh. I think he got rattled. It's definitely some of those powerful hands from Taha making a difference here. Really trying to slug it out as Kukrai uses his veteran moves to lock up. Looks up at the clock. Oh, beautiful body kick. Oh, caught him with that left hook again. Locks up again. Taha hasn't got much to answer for in some of those moments in the clinch where Kukurai locks up. Locks up again. Bang! Little sneaky knees. There he is. As soon as that kick gets caught, he just locks up onto that neck, wrenches it down. Looking up at the clock again, seeing how much time he's got. Dying seconds. That is the end of the second round. So we'll go and have a look at some of the action replays from that explosive round. I'm really liking how Kunkrai locks up as soon as Taha catches his leg. Ooh, sneaky little short elbow there. Oh, big Massive elbow. elbow. I think that rock from cry. Very dramatic for the camera as well, with all that blood spurting everywhere, looking like a horror movie. So we'll see what happens in this third and final round. Kukrai looking very ready to go. Blessing the corner. So how do you have this one scored so far on your unofficial scorecard? I might have to just edge it out to Kunkurai at the moment. Some of those uh, just locking up and getting the better positioning in the clinch exchanges there. 
Though Taha is doing a good job of putting the pressure on. Yeah, obviously Kuntrai did get the knockdown in the first round as well. So it probably 10-8 round in that first. And that second round was very, very close. Nice balance there from Kuntrai. But good return from Taha as well, showing his flexibility. Got to be, got to be careful about switching stances and throwing that right. Can be, become very telegraphed sometimes. That left hook landing again. Also a successful leg kick beforehand. I think Kuntrai is going to be able to take this one. Unless Taha, oh, beautiful leg kick there. Nice little tricky sweep from the tie. Really showing his experience shining through here. Nice lock up. As Taha looks up at the clock. See what he can do to finish. Kuntrai. Does a good job of slipping that big right hand of Taha. Oh, and dragging him down as well. Showing good dominance there. Those are some of the clinch positionings that we both talked about where I really feel Conkrai is an advantage for him for sure. Taha walking forward on the hunt now. Oh, big hands there from Taha. Nice tape from Kukrai. Yeah, he needs to keep Taha away. Keep him either in this clinch range or out of distance from those powerful hands. Taha's got some real danger in those hands, that's for sure. We've seen Kukrai rocked already. Oh, nice knee and redirection through the ropes. Very dominant. Yeah, you hear. Good Christ corner just calling out deep, deep. It's like defense, defense. Just keep him away, keep him away. Nice save there by the referee before that elbow came through. Good show of sportsmanship there from both young gentlemen. Great fight, fantastic. Very exciting here at Fairtex Fight at the famed Lumpini Stadium, the mecca of Muay Thai. And as always, it's a real pleasure to commentate here. Myself, Matt Lucas, sitting beside me. Joe Comerford. The action here at Fairtex Fight every Saturday from 10 to 12 Thai time. So here are some of those action replays. Beautifully timed knee and throws him through the ropes. Fantastic work. So we'll throw it over to Mark Ladies Abbott. Ladies and gentlemen, after the completion of all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 30-26. Sam Tibisip Hawk. Sam Tibisip Hawk. Let Sam Tibisip Hawk. For the winner, in the red corner, Hun Kai Sabu Samun Prai Gan Pro. Lindy, do I have Hun Kai Sabu Samun Prai Gan Pro? Kau Rob Ching Chana Le Le Na Krab Kong Fatex Fight Thai Watsu Champions Tournament Run Bantam Weight. Kau Jo Pop Kap Krai Na Rob Ching. Tit Tam Dai Na Kuo Ta Pai Krab. Join us after the break to find out who Hun Kai will be fighting in the finals. Now. 
Welcome back to Fairtex Fight. Moi Man Pan Extreme here from Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. We now move to the second half of the semi-finals for Fairtex Fight, Thai Watsu Champions Tournament in the Bantamweight Division. In the black corner, let's bring out Saman Torken. So here we go in to the fifth bout of the day. The Thai Wasadu semi-final. Saman Torkan from Iran, 18 years old, standing at 169 centimeters, 13 bouts his record, nine wins, three losses, one draw. His last fight here, a win over Sexit Han Lawang, Hong Kong. So we'll things, see how things get on today. Always great to see more foreign athletes here. And of course, the Thai Wasadu tournament. We This is our second year in the row. Thai Wasadu, a construction company here in Thailand, similar to Home Depot in America. And in the red corner, let's bring out Fajarat Sode Japan. Coming into the red, red corner is Fajarat Sode Japan. At age 25, Fajarat stands at 164 centimeters with a whopping fight record of 103 fights, 73 wins, 28 losses, and two draws. Coming from the southern province. Satun in Thailand. His last three fights, he had a win over Javad Mozafari. TKO win over Tonsak Opal Paint. And a TKO win over Birthday TBM Gym. So there we can see the boss of Saw Dechapan Gym at Chet Dechapan taking off the shirt of Bajalad. Bajarad, a very explosive fighter. Heavy hands. Followed up with ferocious kicks. I think his last TKO over Tonsak was from a body kick, I believe. So I'm excited for this one. I saw Dejapan Jim making a very big name for themselves on the Muay Thai circuit here in Thailand over the last year or two. Time to talk about this one. Muay Thai is a big one. Muay Thai is a big one. 53.5 kg. 3 yok. Yok is a big one. This is a Muay Thai bout at 53.5 kg. Scheduled for three three minute rounds. Nak boy nay mum dum fighting in the black corner. Namnak ha sip san jut ha kilogram sung roy hook sip kao. Weighing in at 53.5 kilograms, standing 169 centimeters tall. Majak Rahet Iran. From Iran, this is Salmon Token. And his opponent. Fighting in the red corner, Namnak Hasip Sam, Jut Ha Kilogram Sung, Roy Hook Sip C. Weighing in at 53.5 kilograms, standing 164 centimeters tall. Maja Prahit Thai. From Thailand, this is Pajarat Sodichapan. And your referee, Nawa Kat Ek Lam Hong Misili. Here we go with the tail of the tip, Fajarat or Japan versus Saman Torkan. So obviously the experience going the way of the sort of Japan athlete. We'll see how that actually plays out. Oh, no. 
Oh, chopping to that back leg there, but uh, Don't really going ham for the legs here. Good cow, powerful teeth there from Saman. Bit of a size difference here, just in frame and height. And it looks like that last kick might have hit the cup of Fatala. But not technically a, a foul. Mark Abbott not too long ago covered the legality and some fouls. Big hands there from Saman. Yeah, Saman coming out the gates very, very strong here. I feel like Fatala needs to pick it up a bit. Or he's at risk of letting Saman take the fight home. Just a little bit tentative here to engage with Saman. I think he needs to open up with his boxing. Something to get Saman to start to respect him a bit. Here in the corner, telling Fajala to go, go, go. Don't think he's really listening to that advice right now. Big body shot there, trying to catch it. Oh, and a counter hook. Sort of rocking it. Saman there a bit. Maybe that's the shot he needed. To make Saman respect him a bit more. Stiff jab there from Saman. Straight down the pipeline. Oh, good body kick there from Saman. Good leg kick again from Saman. Nice left kick there from Fajalad. Got to bring that guard a little bit higher. Stiff jab followed up with the left. But Fajalad still trying to figure Saman out. He's going to need a much better and bigger second round. Tries to rip the leg off of Saman. Take him to the ground there. Fairly big round there from Saman from Iran. So we're going to have a look at some of the replays here. That stiff jab followed up with the right and the left kick to the body. There from Saman. And there's that counter hook from Fajala that stung Saman right on the cheekbone. And I think that's the shot that made him respect him a bit more. And I think a couple of more shots like that is what Fajalad needs. Could just be a case of Fajalad warming up in the second round. Warming up in the first, sorry. So let's see what the second round brings. Going for that back leg again from Fadalad, following up with the uppercut. Oh, nice body kick there from Fadalad. Good return from Saman. I think Fadalad needs to do something to mitigate some of the size from Saman. Fadalad definitely capable of delivering hard shots, but this isn't putting much out there. 
across there, but it was more of a case of Saman losing his balance. Big right hand there. Locking up in the clinch. Nice turn and knee there from Fadalad. Saman just smothering him against the ropes. Fadalad just trying to pop the jab, measure the distance. Nice left kick there. Beautiful shots there from Fadzilla. Yeah. Good capitalization on that yeah. too. Get. Yeah, he, you saw him picking his shots. Stop. Not to hit the back of the head. Almost took off his nose with that elbow. Definitely giving a new life to Fadzilla. Definitely find his confidence oh. here a bit more. His power in his hands here. Saman doing a good job of staying in the fight. Yeah, a minute left. And definitely weakened and shaken now. Oh, oh, bam! That right hand. Just biding his time here. Yeah, he's definitely looking to line up that right hand again for Jalad. Beautiful left body kick. And that one stung him in two. There from Saman. Saman racking up the points, but can Fadzala deliver the power? Breaking him down there in the clinch. Breaking that posture. 30 seconds to go. Can Fadzala push the punishment? There's that right hand again. Oh, and just drop to the ground here for a second count in two rounds. And Saman what? like shook his yeah. head. He's almost spit yeah. out his gum shield. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, wow, wow. And an appropriate call there by the referee. So a nice win there for Fajala Saw Dechapan. Saw Dechapan crew will be going home very happy. Yeah, the gym has won gym of the year. A few times, I believe. Won it maybe two years ago. Here's some of the replays. It was the big cross there that wobbled him. And then Fadjala just picked his shots. Did a great job. Like, in terms of fight experience, this is exactly what you want to be doing as an athlete. You attack to try and finish off your opponent until the referee breaks it up. You know, it's a duty of care for the re referee, but also you have to protect yourself at all times. And that is just a terrible position to be in. Then here we see the Samad's posture breaking, the referee calling it. Ladies and gentlemen, with just seconds remaining in round number two, we have a winner by knockout in the red corner Fajarat Sade Japan ยินดีด้วยครับฟาเจรัดซอเดชปันจะพบกับคุณไกลสบู่สมุนไพรการปูในรอบชิงของ Fatic Fight Thai Wasu Champions Tournament รุ่น Bantamweight 53.5 kg แล้วก็ผู้ชนะจะได้รับเข็มขัดแชมป์ครับ Road to One Thailand Season 3 ซึ่งเราจะจัดสิ้นปีนี้ครับ He will be fighting with Kunkai Sabusamun Prai in the finals of our tournament FedEx Fight Thai Watsu Champions Tournament in the Bantamweight Division The winner will get a championship belt 50,000 baht in prize money and the opportunity to fight in Road to One Thailand Season 3 later this year and the winner of that will get a contract to one championship, the world's largest martial arts organization. Join us after break with more Muay Thai action as a fighter from France takes on a fighter from Thailand.
ดีคุณพ่อคุณลุงเนาะแฟนมวยครับหลายคนรอชมมวยคู่เอกเนาะใครรอชมมวยคู่เอกขออนุญาตแบบนี้ครับยกโทรศัพท์มือถือเตรียมตัวไว้เลยครับนี่คือโปรเฉพาะคนรอชมมวยคู่เอกครับคุณพ่อคุณลุงครับผมเชื่อว่าหลายคนรู้จักถังเช่าเป็นอย่างดีวันนี้ขออนุญาตครับเอาถังเช่าผสมมันติวิตามินบีเนาะแบรนโนวาครับปกติวางจำหน่ายที่ไหนครับเซเว่นอีเลเว่นนะครับหนึ่งกล่องราคาตามที่เห็นบนหน้าจอเนาะ475บาทกินได้1เดือนเนาะตีกลมๆเกือบ500บาทถ้าคุณพ่อคุณลุงซื้อพันหนึ่งเต็มที่ครับได้2กล่องกินได้ประมาณ2เดือนนี่คือถังเช่าผสมมันติวิตามินบเนาะวันนี้จ่ายพันหนึ่งเท่าเดิมครับไม่ให้2กล่องขอญาตเบิกของเข้ามาเลยครับวันนี้ใครรอชมมวยคู่เอกอยู่เนาะวันเสาร์สบายๆครับจาก2กล่องเนาะขอราคาขึ้นมาเลยครับ2กล่องครับ1กล่องคือ475บาทติดกลมๆคือ500บาท2กล่องคือประมาณพันหนึ่งเนาะวันนี้จ่ายพันหนึ่งเท่าเดิมครับปรับเป็น1กล่อง2กล่อง3กล่อง4กล่อง5กล่องครับ6กล่อง7กล่อง8กล่อง9กล่องและ10กล่อง10กล่องจ่ายพันหนึ่งเท่าเดิมครับและใน1กล่องครับมี12ย่อย10กล่องที่ให้ไปคือ102ย่อยแปรเปลี่ยนเป็นแก้วได้100แก้วใครชอบเย็นชงเย็นๆแบบนี้ครับใครชอบร้อนเป็นช็อตเข้มๆแบบนี้เนาะได้ประโยชน์จากถังเช่ามีส่วนผสมของถังเช่านะครับและตัวนี้ใช้สุขรสแทนน้ำตาลครับ1แก้ว45แก้วครับ 0% แคลเตอรอลครับและเพิ่มปริมาณถังเช่าลงไปเงื่อนไขคือไม่มีกลิ่นรบก,กวนครับและตัวนี้ใช้กาแฟสายพันโลบาต้าเนาะย้ำครับมีส่วนผสมของถังเช่าและเห็นหรือจือเงื่อนไขคือไม่มีกลิ่นเนาะย้ำครับ10กล่อง100แก้วจ่ายแค่พันเดียวและบริการส่งเดี๋ยวนะครับแถมอ่ะวันนี้ใครรอชมมวยคู่เอกขออนุญาตแถมกาต้มน้ำด้วยเนาะฟรีอีกหนึ่งใบเฉพาะคนรอชมมวยคู่เอกไปดูโปรรอบที่1พร้อมกันทั่วประเทศครับนี่คือการขึ้นโปรรอบที่1เนาะวันนี้จ่ายพันหนึ่งครับเอาถังเช่ารูปแบบกาแฟไปทั้งหมด10กล่องแปลเปลี่ยนเป็นแก้วได้100แก้วและแถมกาต้มน้ําฟรีทันที1ใบครับทั้งหมดทั้งมวลจ่ายพันเดียวครับใครสนใจเบอร์อยู่ด้านล่างจอครับ02ครับ026 5888ย้ําครับ02 026 5888ครับย้ําคุณพ่อคุณลุงแบบนี้หมดหน้าจอจ่ายแค่พันเดียวครับได้ถังเช่ารูปแบบกาแฟ10กล่องแปลเปลี่ยนเป็นแก้วได้100แก้วให้กาต้มน้ําฟรีอีกหนึ่งใบหมดหน้าจอจ่ายแค่พันเดียวเท่านั้นเองและบริการส่งฟรีครับ02ครับ026 5888ย้ำครับ02 026 5888และย้ำทุกสายทวงเอากาต้มน้ำฟรีไปด้วยหนึ่งใบและทุกสายเราบริการส่งฟรีครับไปดูโปรรอบสุดท้ายพร้อมกันทั่วประเทศครับย้ำนะครับ 1,000 บาทครับได้ถังเช่ากาแฟเนาะ10กล่องครับแปลเปลี่ยนเป็นแก้วได้100แก้วและแถมกาต้มน้ำหนึ่งใบครับ0 2 0 2 6 5 8 8 8ย้ำครับ0 2 0 2 6 5 8 8ครับย้ำแบบนี้ครับ 1,000 บาทได้หมดหน้าจอแต่เบิ้ล2ชุดเรามีของแถมไปด้วยครับ1ชุดหรือ2ชุดโทรครับ0 2 0 2 6 5 8 8 8ย้ำครับ0 2 0 2 6 5 8 8 8ครับรวมชั้นตั้งแต่วันนี้จนถึงวันที่3เธันวาคม2567 Rail Tech Fight มวยมันพัน Extreme Is in Muay Thai, 58.5 kilograms. Let's bring out the fighter in the black corner, Nicole Elias. So here we go with the next athlete in the Thai Watson Dude Tournament, Nicole Elias from France, 18 years old, standing at 173 centimeters, 15 bouts to his record, 12 wins, one loss, two. Draws. So we'll see how he does here. France, uh, one of the European countries with very, very strong Muay Thai, I would say. France, the UK, in terms of Europe, are very, very strong with Muay Thai. A lot of strong Frenchmen like Doug Charles Garbowski, Fabio Pinka. 
Um, Rafi Bohick, all coming by way of France. Damien Almos. So we'll see how he does here today, Nicole. And in the red corner, let's bring out Sing Sang Pa, Luke Bulmi. Coming into the red corner is Sing Sang Pa, Luke Bulmi. The age of 18, Sing Sun Pa stands at 165 centimeters with a fight record of 51 fights, 36 wins, 15 losses. Hailing from the northeastern province of Buriram. His last three fights, he had a win over Emmanuel Callistus. TKO loss against Patti Saw Pongamon. And a loss against Grand Prix Noi PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. So we'll see what Sing Sang Sing San Park brings here this morning against Nicole from France International. A France taking on Thailand for our sixth bout of the morning. This is a Muay Thai fight at 58.5 kilograms, scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Nak Muay Nai Mum Dam fighting in the black corner. Namnak 58.5 kilograms, sung 173. Weighing in at 58.5 kilograms, standing 173 centimeters tall. Maja Pradhet Parangsed. From France, this is Nico Ilias. Elkudo Sukong Hau Nei Mum Dang. And his opponent, fighting in the red corner. Namnak 58.5 kilograms, sung 165. Weighing in at 58.5 kilograms, standing 165 centimeters tall. Maja Pradhet Thai. From Thailand, this is Sing Sang Pa Lubunmi. And your referee, Sibe Kitsada Pontu. Here we go with the tail of the team, Sing Sang Pa Lubunmi versus Nikor Elias. So the experience going the way of the Thai athlete, and we've seen that be a good thing, and then see that being irrelevant at times as well. How do you think athletes like Nikor can get over the experience factor of his opponent, Sing Tsang Pa? Taking the fight to their opponent. Often it's a case of having to break down the rhythm and smother their opponent with just pure grit and re resilience and relentlessness. We saw that with Eleanor Rose and also our opening bow. I feel like with Kulip Dominic, the Iranian athlete, Amir Hosen. Amir was very, very aggressive as well. It's a case of you've just got to realize that your opponent bleeds too. You can't be scared. You know, I know it can be nerve wracking getting in there with an opponent with triple the amount of fights. I've been in there against some very strong ties, and you know, it is nerve wracking, but you've got to just take the fight to them. And I think, which is what Shakur is looking to do, as Sing Sang Pan locks that leg, drops into the ground there in that last exchange. Oh, nice body shot there from Sing Sang Pa. I think he's looking a lot stronger than Victoria here. What do you think, Joe? I would agree with that. Some of the, uh, the stance and confidence in going for that body, I think you may break the frame of the curve. Good jab there from the Frenchman, though. Great one-two down the pipeline. 
Good teeth there from Sing Sang Park. Nice step up knee. I love a good step up knee. Oh, good body kick as well. Stiff hands there from Nakur. Nice right kick up onto the guard from Sing Sang Park. As he acknowledges that last punch, punch and smiles it off. Step up kick. Oh, good body shot there from Oh, beautiful right body kick as well. And he's really trying to intimidate Nakur with some of those grunts as well at the end. Oh, good long knee. You can hear him through the stage mics there. So. Yeah. Sometimes it is a bit of a grunt, sometimes a little bit of an intimidation tactic. It's also can be a way of recognizing that you hit someone. You know, we see some of the replays here. Good body kick. Excellent sweep there from Nikor. Sometimes his boxing defense is a little wanting as we yeah, see Nikor land some of these hands. The nod of acknowledgement there. You can see DJ Sanook playing a bit of air guitar there. So going into the second round, what would you be advising Nikor? I'd be saying just to run, run Sing Sampa down, not allow him to fire off, back him into the corner and leash some of those hands that Nikur has got. What would you be saying? Yeah, I think that he probably needs to deliver a little bit more power against Sing Sang Pa. Nice oh. counter kick there from Sing Sang Pa. Probably get the hands going a bit more as well. Big left hook there from Sing Sang Pa. Leg teep. Just the curse just finding it a bit hard to find his range as well. Some of these attacks. We follow up with the hands there from the curb. Nice left kick there from Sing Sang Pa. Left kick again. Nice one two there from the Thai athlete. Beautiful right body kick as well. As you said, he's um, boxing defense is a little bit wanting. He's got to be careful with some of those shots from Nakur because he's definitely got power in those hands. But Sixteen Park needs to keep a bit of a tighter guard, in my opinion. Yeah, that, ooh, beautiful left body kick. Good smart grab of the arms there from the tire. Does a good job of slipping some of those heavy punches and then locking up. As Kunkrai did in his fight this morning as well. Slick head movement here at Fairtex fight. Nikor switching stances. Nice follow up on that right kick there from Six and Bar. Follow up again. Does a good job of pushing Nakua back. Good long guard. Follows up with that big right kick, breaking the guard of Nakua. Oh, yeah, that last body kick was so strong, so explosive. And it looks like Nakua might have been injured from it. It's definitely on the back foot. Definitely hurt him a bit. Yeah, and Nikor peeking up at the clock as well. Trying to throw a feint out there. 
And surprise, oh, beautiful body shots. Nicord looks weak in the body right now. Oh, sinks up, uh, recognizes it. He's got 20 seconds left. And he's looking for the kill here. I think just a few body shots. Her definitely hurt from those big body shots and that big right kick that I think injured him mid second round. Yeah, I think maybe it might have done something to his ribs. So very good around there for Sing Sang Pa. Look for me. So we'll go and have a look at some of the action replays from that ferocious second round. Heavy body shots, big right kick. Let's go and have a look. Big right kick right there up onto the guard. Nice long guard there from Sing Sang Pa. Follows up with the right kick again. And I think that's the one that hurt Nakur after Sing Sang Pa went for the kill, went for body shot after body shot, really trying to break the frame of Nakur. And I'm just looking in the corner of Nakur. It looks like he might have injured his left arm there by the looks of it. He's arresting his left arm and getting some ice there. As his corner pulls on it to stretch it out a bit. Yeah, he's very, very slow to get out of the corner. He's got to get in the ring. The referee, everyone's getting into his ear. Obviously a positive sign here for Sing Sang Pa. Looks up, takes the back. Dominant. Big right kick. Yeah, and you see Sing Sang Pa just going for that body. Nice tape there. Oh, great elbow there from the Thai athlete. Oh, and the mouthpiece coming out from the Thai. And he's cut. Sing Sang Pa is cut. Just on the outer left brow there, but I don't think it's going to do much damage. Big show of heart here from Nakura. Doubling up on that ferocious left kick. Nice evasion lock up. Yeah, smart stalling there from Sing Sampa. Just so he can restart and find the range. And that's a good strategy there from Sing Sampa. Lock up, run down the clock so he can restart and be in the range where he needs to be. Yeah, nice step up wow, knee. Basic clock control, similar to other games where you might control the basketball when you're up on points or you'll know, call for timeouts in football. There we go, a bit of clock control there. Puts that right hand behind his back. Nice body shot. McCurr egging him on. I think that's a dangerous game to do. Nice knee there from Sing Sang Pa. Yeah, Nikur does have good boxing. He's Comes got... in hard with the, the shots. He's got to be careful though. Sing Sang Pa is a tough customer. Yeah, good knee there to grab low. Sing Sang Pa bouncing around. Nice chopping elbow. Yeah. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. Follow up. Nice body shot to follow up with that knee from Six Ang Pa. Her locking on, looking up at the clock. Survival mode here. Nice. Nice knee. 
Trying to finish it off. Yeah. What? Just don't think it's gonna happen though. And a nice show of sportsmanship there from both athletes hugging it out after doing three rounds of battle. There's those kicks, nice long guard from Sing Senpa, the heavy hands from Nakur. Good evasion. Big left kick there, doubling it up under the guard. It's a very he heavy hands from the Frenchman in that last round. Really he trying to take the fight to him. Yeah, he made a strong and valid volley, volley, but not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, it. after the completion of all three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 30 27. Sam to Yusuf Jet. Sam to Yusuf Jet. Let Sam to Yusuf Jet. For the winner in the red corner, Sing Sang Pa Luk Bun Mi. Yindi Duai Krab. Thank you so much. We will meet again in the next round. The last round of today. The Nak Muay Jai from the Philippines. The Nak Muay Jai from the Philippines. Join us after the break with our final fight in Muay Thai, 68 kilograms. A fighter from England takes on a fighter from China. So right into our final match of the day, we have Miles from the UK, Miles Musikitis, a 22-year-old standing at 270 centimeters, five bouncers record, four wins, one loss. And in the red shorts is Zhang Bin from China, age 20. Oh! Dropped with a big bomb of a right hand, Miles. Huh. Age 20, standing at 185 centimeters with a fight record of 16 fights, 12 wins, yeah, four losses. And that is called off as soon as it started. Called off before I could even read the records. So there's one for the books. So we'll get to see it in the replay. Massive right hand. We could almost see the entire fight. In the replay, got off to a very, very quick start. So here it is. Thanks, starting off considerable height advantage. That overhand right finding its mark and rattling Miles in the blue. And then bang. Yeah. Boom, the, the head of Miles just snapping back. In Australia, that we call that the left-right good night. Mm. Fundamentals win fights, folks. And that's what you just saw there. Tournament run bantamweight. We got them like half of sand, you half kilogram. Who should not get a rap? Kem cut champ. Prong and long one, ha moon bar. แล้วก็จะมีโอกาสขึ้นชกในรายการ Road to One Thailand Season 3ซึ่งเราจะจัดสิ้นปีนี้ครับ In our semi-finals today of our tournament คุณกายสบู่สมุนไพร took his win there on points ฟาจิลัดซอเดชพัน got a second round knockout and they will be meeting each other in the finals of Fair Tech Fight Thai Watsu Champions Tournament in the Bantamweight Division The winner will get a championship belt 50,000 baht in prize money, as well as the opportunity to fight in Road to One Thailand Season 3 at the end of this year. Before we go, I'd like to thank our sponsors, Chongjet HD, Tero Entertainment, Fairtex, 
สนามมวยลุมพินียุทธสปอร์ตเกียร์และขอขอบคุณไทยวัตถุที่สนับสนุนมวยรอบ f a t e x Fight Thai w a t u Champions Tournament Ladies and gentlemen from me Mark a b b o t t the team here at f a t e x Muay Thai l u m p i n i Stadium Channel 7 HD We'll see you next week สวัสดีครับ Put in my time on the TV, it coming in soon. I couldn't leave without love to a variant or an experience. You gotta get up and do what it do. So c o m p l i c a t e d the homie is you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. I've been running, came up, gonna stop the fight on your word. It's what you hear, not what you heard. I'ma hang on every verb. I'ma show you what it's worth. Every day I'm on the earth till they put me in the dirt. I'ma get into it first. Said I'ma get into it first. To it. I can't break. That's the thing about me. Uh, I won't put these goals on freeze. I can't break. That's the thing about me. Uh, I won't put these goals on freeze. You cannot stop me. I'm either spinach and broccoli. Termination like I'm Rocky. Lift the heavy, no spot, please. Body back a beat and then I get away scotch free. And I'ma take control, unbreakable. I sense the fetish, the shakes is cold, the grace is more. Plus it's really the motivation, so it's thank you so. Talk that's on my neck, hard work on my breath. The easy road taking a left, it's on my chest. No time for regrets. Faith in the Jimmy like Steph. Shooting is wet like clay. The party may be this way. I'm taking all of this love to the bank. I'ma deposit and see what it makes. Shoot is shoot and so is reap. I pay the meter, I keep it with Peter like Peter on water. I'm stepping in deeper, they know that I'm coming like Father the Leader. I'm taking a chance today. Standing inside of the kitchen, I turn on the heater. I need to turn on my brothers and sisters and cousins and mothers until my beliefs get into it first. Hey, hey, I'ma get into it first. To it. I can't break. That's the thing about me. Huh? I won't put these goals on freeze. I can't break. That's the thing about me. Goals huh? on freeze. The flute. I seen it way before it ever happened. He gave me the view. I had to put in my time on the TV. It coming in soon. I couldn't leave without love to a variant or an experience. You gotta get up and do what it do. So complicated, homie, it's you. Always gonna wait until you in the mood. I been running, came up, gunning, stop the fight on your words. It's what you hear, not what you heard. I'm a hero. Rare text fight. Wayman Pan Extreme.